everyone and welcome to my November favorites. It's kind of late, but that's okay, alright? Anyway, let's get on to it because surprisingly I have a lot today, like a lot to talk about. I do one of these videos, I look at my makeup and I'm like, I use the same stuff every day, so but yeah. Um, the new favorite I really have is this one and it's the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. I just got it and it is freaking beautiful. I've heard about this for a while on the beauty um, side of YouTube and it's got the, it's this deep pretty red like not, not even red like a burgundy maybe but I've been wearing it on my lips a lot lately and I get a lot of compliments on it so I really love it. The next two favorites are kind of oldie but goodies but I love them. Um, my first one is the moisturizer simple it's protecting light moisturizer my skin tends to get a little bit drier in the winter time and this just really great it's very light moisture it doesn't break me out which is a big bonus. I've had this for a while now and it's still going strong. Next favorite is another kind of oldie but goodie and that's my L'Oreal True Match Powder and this is in the color Creamy Natural and it's got a cool undertone because that's what I have. I love this powder. It's just a great powder for after I do my foundation. I like to set everything up with this powder and I just freaking adore it. Foundation, I have a new brush to talk about and it's by the brand Real Techniques and I love that brand and this is their buffing brush I believe. This is their expert face brush actually. I'm using this to put my foundation in. I use Bare Minerals foundation and this just really applies it very evenly, very nice. I feel like I'm really putting it on very nicely so I love this brush. I don't think I'll ever stop using it. Let's move on to nail polishes. So I only have two to talk about this month and the first one is a CoverGirl Atlas Stay Brilliant and this is in the color, what color are you? Stop Stone? Is that what it is? It's just a very simple gray. I love gray nail polishes for the fall and winter. It's just simple. Um, my next one, I've used this last year and I will use it again this year. And it's my Christmassy type of nail polish. I use it for the holidays. Strictly only really that. And it is a Julie G nail polish. Um, she is a YouTuber and she created her own nail polish line, which you can find in Rite Aid. And this is in the color Big Red Bow. And I love it. It's very, very shiny. My nails are hideous because of work, but you know, whatever. It's still red, shiny, and sparkly, and I love it, and I wear this the most in the holiday season, like, a lot. Moving <laughs> on to hair products. I only have one this month. It's kind of a newer one. It is the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Botifier Dry Shampoo. And this is for fine or flat hair. I don't really have fine hair at all. I have very thick hair. But I do some. I do somewhat have, tend to have flat hair a lot when it's, you know, when it's second day hair or third day hair, my hair gets very flat. I will say I have really put this to the test this month, like, a lot. Because I use dry shampoo a lot because I don't like to wash my hair every day because that's not good for your hair. It builds, you know, your hair needs to build up natural oil. So I don't, I don't try to wash my hair more than three times a week because it's just not good for your hair. So on the days I don't wash my hair, I always use dry shampoo and this stuff really works. Not only does it have a really great scent, it smells very fruity and stuff, but it really works. Like I feel like it just makes it nicer. Like it just took a shower with it. So I adore this stuff. It's cheap. It's great. And I'm not usually a huge fan of Garnier Fruit Cheese, but I do love this. On to other stuff. The f I have a body wash now, and I just got this like two weeks ago, and I've already used a bunch of it, as you can see. It is the Caress Passionate Spell um, Body Wash, and I've heard about this from Glam Life Guru on YouTube. I'll link her below. She's great. She just says she loves this scent. And so I usually, and I'm surprised that I like this scent a lot, because I'm not usually a girl that likes very kind of deeper scents, like kind of, what, what's the word I'm looking for here, like kind of a, I don't know, I usually am the type of girl that likes the, not the fruity scent so much, I'm not a huge fruity person, but I do love like stuff that smells like a bakery, stuff that smells like sugar, that's what I usually gravitate towards, and like a lot of fresh scents, like a lot of clean fresh scents, so I'm surprised I like this one, because it's got a, I don't know, like, like a, I don't know how to describe it, but what's in it is passion fruit and fiery orange rose, and it just smells amazing. Like it's got that deeper, kind of harsher scent. Like it just really, it smells really good for winter, I'd say. It's just a very good deeper winter scent. I'm, I'm totally blanking on the word that I want to use, and I'm sure it's going to come to me three hours from now. <laughs> Speaking of the kind of deeper scents, I have a new body cream. Now I went to Bath and Body Works like, well I went to the mall a week ago to get something and then I stumbled on Bath and Body Works as us, as we always do, 
Am I the only one that just like gravitates towards there? And they had a sale going on for $5 for all their body creams. And if you guys know, that's an amazing deal because normally these things are $12.50 and they're five bucks. That's amazing. So I decided to pick up some and I only picked up two because I feel like sometimes I go crazy with Bath & Body Works and I don't ever use. Like last summer I picked up like four body lotions and four body washes for the summer and did I use all of them? Nope, I still got like three left. So I'm like, calm down. But the one I did get was Twilight Woods and I never used to like this scent before because I felt like it was too kind of strong and too deep and all that kind of stuff. I never usually like that one. I'm usually the girl that flocks towards the Vanilla Bean Noel or my other favorite is Winter Candy Apple. I love that one. But Twilight Woods is really smelling good to me this year. It just smells so like rich, rich. It smells this is so good. So good. I love this stuff. On to scents kind of thing. I only have one candle this month and it's actually not a Bath & Body Works candle. Surprise, surprise. It is a Yankee candle and I got this at TJ Maxx for like, I think like $12. Yeah, no, $13. And it's usually like $20. I don't know. Oh, nostalgic. I got it in Nostalgic Snow and I really gravitate towards one because of the the cover of it or whatever you want to call it. I really love the Santa. I think it's really good. However, it smells like Christmas to me. Like it smells minty. It smells kind of like snow and it's got just, it's mostly like kind of minty. And I usually don't like candles that have that mint, but it's got that fresh mint, if that makes any sense. And I just bought it a month ago and look how much I've used of it. And that just tells you a lot. Um, yeah. I guess my other candle favorite would always be my all time favorite and that's Marshmallow Fireside. Oh my gosh, I could light this all day, every day of my life and I'd be happy. Moving on, I have one jewelry favorite and this should probably come to no surprise to you guys if you watch my book channel. That is this necklace and I just got this from Forever 21 not too long ago and I've gotten, I tell you guys, when I say I get compliments on this every time I go out, I am not lying. I at least get two compliments every time I go out. Like every time and every time I wear it in a video I get tons of compliments on it so yeah this is, comes from forever 21 that's right you find the best jewelry from forever 21 and it was like 10 bucks which is an amazing deal it's very gold and watch my videos that see this necklace thanks it looks like snowflakes which I could see that but it's really in actuality like six flowers bundled up but it looks like snowflakes and I love it and it's just really good like it frames any shirt you have on so I really love this necklace. Like I'm, I'm in love with this necklace. Like it's amazing. So go get you that. TV shows go. Uh, the one TV show I've been watching a lot lately is Two Broke Girls, which surprises me because I do love Kat Dennings, but the humor on that show is kind of risky, risque, whatever you want to call it. It's got a lot of drug humor in it. It's got a lot of um, sexual type of humor, but I just love the show for some reason. I think. It's very good and surprised me I like it because I usually don't like the shows that just say the one joke and then wait for everybody to laugh and then it's just a bunch of one-liners. I'm usually not a fan of shows like that, but I love Two Broke Girls. I just love Kat Dennings. I think she's awesome. So I've been watching that a lot lately. What Dawson's Creek this month? Like, a lot of Dawson's Creek. I can't get Pacey out of my mind. As far as music goes, I haven't really listened to any new music, but I will say, um... I will put together a list of my favorite Christmas music. Now every year I love Christmas music, but I'm sure you guys all have the generic radio stations that just play the same Christmas music over and over and over again. So I like to make my own list on Spotify and I have so many different recommendations for you guys for Christmas music. I love the indie type of ones, I love the classic type of ones. So I will link down below or I'll either make a list down below of all my favorite Christmas songs. So if you guys haven't heard of any of these, I hope that it will help you out and stuff like that because I love Christmas music and I love the freshness of my Christmas music selections because sometimes, you know, the generic ones can get, can get kind of boring. <laughs> you know, in the comments, which favorites were you loving in November? Any type of beauty, movies, music, all that kind of stuff? Please let me know. I How cool is that?